There he is, folks. UFC middleweight Kevin Holland on a carry. Just beat Charlie Ontiveros on Halloween. It was Charlie Ontiveros this Friday night. And guess what? He's back. He's going to be fighting the Joker, Jack Hermanson, on December 5th. How you doing, Kevin Holland? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Not bad. How about you guys? Good, man. Thanks for joining us here on Junkie Radio. Uh, I love your activity of fighting, staying busy, and now you've got the one fight that will make everyone know that, hey, this guy can compete for the title. There's no more, well, now you need to beat this guy, and now you need to be that guy. Jack Hermanson's a ranked, a top-ranked fighter, a big name. This is a huge fight for you. I'm glad you took it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I took it, too. I'm glad, you know, I was uh, in that Darren Stewart fight. I was saying I, I thought I was fighting Darren Till. You know, look, now Darren <laughs> Till got hurt, and I'm taking Darren Till's spot. So that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, wish yeah. Darren Till a speedy recovery, though. Did you have to think twice about it? Uh, or Were you healthy and ready to go? Because like I said, you've been fighting pretty frequently, and this is a pretty big fight. Yeah, I was actually – they were I, they were like kind of like saying the next fight had to be like a top 15 type guy. So I was like, let's just go ahead and let them know I'll take anybody. I messaged Mick Maynard and was like, yo, what's up with yo, Romero? You know what I mean? That's just the way to let them know. You'll take anybody in the top 15. And uh, he's hurt. So all of a sudden the next day, you know, call it a – a nice little birthday gift. They say, you want to fight Jack? And I'm like, uh, yes, of course. Of course. Why not? Favorite superhero is Batman. This guy's name is Joker. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. So you've won four in a row. Uh, you've won seven of your past eight. And now you're 11 and two in your last 13. So you got formidable streaks going. You've proven yourself. You know, this, this activity is has uh, just kept your name out there, man. To what do you attribute this to? Like, you're very durable, you know, because some of your fights have gone to a decision. Some of your fights, you have taken some shots, but you just keep answering the phone and you're ready to go. I, I, I guess at 28, maybe some some of it, you know, you being in your youth has to do with it too. Uh, shout out to my mama and my papa for good genetics. Uh, shout out to my grandparents for raising a hard worker. And then, you know, shout out to my coaches for keeping me on the ball and making sure I'm technically sound, you know, I'm technically sound so I can go and I can fight anybody, you know, anytime I'm going to defend myself, my Kung Fu black belt level, Jiu Jitsu black belt level, unless I'm getting choked out by Brandon Allen or Lovato, it's usually pretty freaking good, you know? So, uh, let's go test it against Jack. And uh, just the ability to stay going all the time. Is, like I said, good genetics, raised by good grandparents. And uh, my coaches keep me busy. They keep me working. So it works out. Here's one other thing you missed. I think basically you got the game beat in the sense that when you're in there, it happens in slow motion. And no one really gets a – well, it's not that you've never taken a clean shot, but they're rare. Because, again, you don't panic. You see the game in slow motion. You're very calm, and I think you're basically – you don't really seem, to me, to have the nerves of uh, competing against somebody else and losing. And I think you've conquered that. And a lot of fighters, even the great ones, they don't always conquer that. They have those little fears that eat them up. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's pretty cool. I never thought about it like that, but that that, that sounds pretty good. I like that. We're going to use the way you set it up for now on. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, man. All right, goes. what do you have for Kevin Holland, also known as Big Mouth? Hey, Kevin, all these fights put together, um, it's an impressive run, but looking back at them, do they all feel different to you, or do when you look back at them, do they just blend in together? It's all part of the process. You know, it's it's the job. So uh, kind of like in a way, they're all different, but they all kind of go together. You know, they all build you for where you get to on the next day, on the next spot, and the next time, and the next time after that. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, I guess they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. They all go hand in hand. Practice, fighting, they all go hand in hand. All this seems like it's happened so quickly for you. Do you ever feel like, like you went from being the new guy to do you already feel like that established veteran in the back? Because you've got quite a few UFC fights now. Yeah, I got with the UFC, what, into 2018, into 2017, something like that, right? So mm -hmm. it's like I feel like I've been there for some time now, a couple of years, you know, and then it's like I have a lot of fights underneath my belt, you know, not just UFC, but fights overall, you know, and it's like so 
it seems for some people it may seem pretty fast because they weren't you know they didn't pay attention to the whole career for me it feels like you know been wanting this forever and it's just finally coming to fruition you know it's happening for me but you know like i said about my family all my family put in the work before me so it's it's not just me you know finally getting this it's everybody getting this you know so the more we the more i succeed the more we all succeed and that's just the way i look at it when you look at jack hermanson's game and everything he brings to the table was there one thing that stands out over the rest something that impresses you grappling it's a good grappler you know uh I, I hear he had a, a Greco-Roman background from what somebody on my team was saying. And, and you know, he has a phenomenal hill hook he pulled off against, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Kevin Gaslam's a black belt as well in jiu-jitsu, right? Or, or he's pretty up there in the 10th planet system. And, uh, you know, he submitted some pretty decent guys. So, I mean, his grappling, his grappling is, is phenomenal, you know? So let's go try it out. Get on the ground, squirm me around a little bit, see what's up with it. Why do you have like a seat belt at the top of your on the roof of your car? How, how's that back there? Got 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 one on, on that side. Got one on that side. Are you in Baja, Mexico, on one of those forerunners or something that might flip over, so you need to buckle in from the top or what? No, nah, it's it's for the back seat. You had to readjust it for the back because I got all the systems and shit back there, so it couldn't really. All right. Run. Yeah. So. Yeah. Damn. All right. So it gets pretty loud in that bad boy, huh? It gets pretty loud up in there. It gets pretty loud up in there. I don't ride with the music that loud, so it's really overkill for me. But that's how the car came, and I like it. So it's pretty cool. Sweet. What kind of a car is it? It's a 68 Impala. God damn. That's yeah. sick. Okay. Um, hey, last question. That's the Joker. Your man is Batman. What in your utility belt will it take to take out the Joker? The sniper. The sniper. The straight right hand, the straight right hand. If I touch Jack enough times with that straight right hand, he will go to sleep. Or my elbow, or my left hand. And it's like, and it's like, don't get it mistaken. You know, I'm not gonna put it in my head because then I'll go out there trying to do it. But I can submit Jack. Don't ever, don't ever get it twisted. I, I'm well rounded. You know, if Jack gets me to the ground and humps me and somehow gets the win that way, we all know that's that's the way to win. You're not gonna hit me and put me to sleep. You're not gonna. You're not gonna outstrike me. You're not gonna do a lot of those things that you might do to somebody else. You know, I'm not Jacare. You know, and it's like, I'm not David Branch. You know, it's like I'm none of those other guys. You know, and it's like, the right hand would be the sniper. The one in the utility belt would be the right hand. If I throw anything at him with the right hand enough times, he will fall. Mark my words. <laughs> hey, one last thing. Did you see Philly uh, Andre Feely versus um, uh, Hug Nasty? Like I didn't get a chance to watch it. I actually didn't get a chance to watch it. I think I was doing uh, interviews in the back when they were fighting, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. Feely, even though he got beat, I was impressed with how much he worked on takedown defense and submission defense, and it allowed him to be there standing at the very end. Even though he didn't get the the the, the um, decision, I just loved his overall game plan. It, it, these these some of these grapplers are are really really tough, but like I say, you know, you definitely have a a good grappling game as game uh, as well. You've shown us that, and it was it was June of 2018 when you joined the UFC. So I've ten fights in a year and a half, and if I go even five fights further, you're 16 and three. Uh, you know, you know, going back almost 20 fights. Impressive run, Kevin Holland. Also quick through too, man. Watching you through, uh, I think one was a Bellator, LFA, Dana White Contender Series, and now the UFC. Love following your career. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that tremendously. Yeah, it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun ride. And it's just getting started. That's the crazy part about it. You know, it's like I got 25 professional fights in mixed martial arts underneath my belt. You know, it's like I want to see the the 50 number somewhere in there. And it's like, so let's do it. It's a great story. He didn't make it on Dana White Contender Series. And now look at him fighting the top guys at middleweight division. Even Dana White's got to sit back and go, ooh, I blew it. I should have got him in there one day. But whatever. Or be nah, honest. nah, nah. He did it the right way. You know, I, I didn't want to be like the rest. You know, everybody, you know, I was like, I went into I went into the contender series fight wanting my check. Everybody went in there like, I gotta get a contract, I gotta get a contract. I was like, I'm gonna get a check, impressively get a check, and then uh they'll call me when they need me. And they called me when they needed me. 